The Made in China label has long been synonymous with low-cost items and budget shopping experiences. However, this perception is undergoing a significant transformation. Recent Chinese efforts aim to shift this association from merely economical products to cutting-edge innovation. Soon, this tag will even apply to aircraft, a leap propelled by China's previous investments in advanced technology. Let's delve into the reasons behind this evolution. Challenge in the Skies The debut of the C919 marked China's foray into the exclusive aircraft market. This model, a product of the state-owned Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, completed its inaugural commercial flight in May 2023. This event challenged the traditional dominance of Airbus and Boeing. COMAC appears to have found its competitive edge within the Chinese market itself. Over the next two decades, the number of air passengers is expected to double, driven mainly by the Asia-Pacific region, particularly China. It is projected that by 2040, one in every five civilian aircraft in operation will be of Chinese origin. Government incentives are being provided to domestic airlines to prioritize locally manufactured planes, especially the C919. This strategy aims not only to solidify the C919's position as the primary choice within China but also to prepare it for competition on international routes. However, the question arises, will it be straightforward for COMAC to challenge giants like Airbus and Boeing? Is the domestic market robust enough to support this competition? And how does this affect you, who may soon find yourself aboard a Chinese aircraft? China, once regarded as a country of imitations, has evolved its industry by copying and adapting best international practices through technology transfer. Numerous foreign companies have shared their knowledge and technologies with Chinese partners. This allowed local workers to gain technical and practical expertise. This replication phase served as a springboard for Chinese companies, which learned how to integrate foreign technology, refining their production processes. Currently, the Asian giant seeks to be recognized not as an exporter of low-priced items but as the world leader in exporting high-tech products. Innovation has become the hallmark of the Chinese industry, which saw its investments in research and development jump from about $20 billion to $200 billion annually in less than two decades. Additionally, investment in education increased by 5%, growing 10% per year since 2012, reaching $500 billion in 2017. This financial investment, combined with the creation of technology parks and tax incentive programs for startups during Xi Jinping's administration, resulted in 14% of Beijing University students engaging in startups in 2017. Under Xi Jinping's leadership, the Chinese dream has come to symbolize the new national directive, with corresponding spending amounting to 2.5% of China's GDP. In 2017, the president set the goal of positioning China as a global leader in artificial intelligence by 2030. Adopting this innovative vision has yielded significant results placing the country as the home of pioneering companies like DJI, Didi, ByteDance, and Comac itself. With the launch of the C919, Comac has emerged as a significant player, marking China's entry into the competitive medium-range aircraft market. This development began to alarm established players Boeing and Airbus, who saw their market share threatened. China's economic growth led to a significant increase in air traffic, motivating the government to expand commercial flight capacity. As part of its strategy, plans were implemented to strengthen the local aeronautical industry, aiming to develop and produce national commercial aircraft. Among these initiatives are the Medium and Long-Term Development Plan for the Civil Aviation Industry and the Made in China 2025 project. Founded in May 2008, COMAC emerged from the merger of several aeronautical companies and was supported by major European and American suppliers, such as General Electric. 
the company started with a registered capital of $2.7 billion and a credit line of $4.4 billion. Originating from the subsidiaries of the Aviation Industry Corporation of China in Shanghai, Comac inherited the intellectual property of a model known as the ARJ-21. Based on the specifications of the McDonnell Douglas MD-80, the ARJ-21 was China's first step in absorbing Western technology. After the discontinuation of the MD-80 and MD-90 assembly lines, Avic took advantage of the tools left by McDonnell Douglas to kickstart the long-awaited ARJ-21 project, which made its maiden flight in 2008. Comac didn't stop with the ARJ-21, moving on to develop the C919. This new commercial airplane model promises innovations in design, efficiency, and low operational costs. Such attributes directly challenge the dominance of Boeing's 737 MAX and Airbus's A320, which had previously dominated the market. Entering the Aerial Competition To grasp the challenge Comac faces, it's crucial to understand the dynamics among giants like Boeing, Airbus, Bombardier, and Embraer. It's also vital to recognize the shifting needs of airline companies. Bombardier, struggling financially with its cherries, sealed a deal with Delta, causing discomfort for Boeing, which responded with a dispute imposing hefty tariffs on the cherries. To circumvent this, Bombardier partnered with Airbus, Boeing's main competitor. In 2017, Airbus decided to acquire a 50.01% stake in the Cherries project. This move circumvented import tariffs for sales to Delta, as Airbus was already operational in the United States. With control over the project, Airbus now had an aircraft for shorter routes, pressuring Boeing not only with Bombardier's entry into the American market but also by seeing Airbus gaining an edge. Embraer, leading an aircraft up to 150 seats, perceived both Bombardier and Airbus as threats. Thus, it was no surprise when Boeing and Embraer began discussing a partnership. Negotiations started in 2018 and extended into 2023. However, the pandemic altered plans, and the deal fell through. Meanwhile, Comac progressed with its C919, capitalizing on the decline of the four majors due to the pandemic-induced crisis. The C919, with a range of up to 5,500 kilometers, poses a challenge to the dominance of Airbus's A320neo and Boeing's 737 MAX. Besides being a more efficient and eco-friendly model, the C919 is also more affordable. While Comac keeps the exact price under wraps, it's estimated at $90 million, significantly less than the A320neo's $111 million and the 737 MAX 8's $121 million. But what is Comac's plan to secure its place in this highly competitive market? China's Aerial Ascension In the coming decades, China is estimated to lead in daily regional flights. The Chinese government has implemented policies to expand these flights, encouraging its airlines to purchase smaller, domestically produced jets like the C919. As a result, passenger numbers per kilometer in China are expected to increase by 4.7%, according to Embraer. This positions China as the second largest market for aircraft up to 150 seats marking the beginning of China's proclaimed leadership in the commercial aviation sector. With a growing focus on regional aviation and a national aeronautical industry, introducing foreign aircraft into the Chinese market will be challenging. This strategy propels Comac towards global recognition. Boeing, Airbus, and Embraer, aware of this competition, have taken unprecedented steps. Indeed, this resulted in a soar of truce among them. In February 2021, Embraer informed the World Trade Organization of its withdrawal from the action against Canada. Initiated in 2017, the action challenged the Canadian government's subsidies to Bombardier. 
Brazil backed down when it realized market transformations, especially after the Airbus Bombardier partnership. Consequently, Airbus and Boeing also abandoned their mutual legal disputes, which began in 2004. CNN suggests that the fear of losing market share to Comac may have motivated the end of these disputes. By January 2023, Comac had already accumulated 1,200 orders for the C919. Chinese internal policies, including credit lines for purchasing national aircraft, have spurred this number. By September 2020, 28 Chinese companies had placed orders for the C919, totaling approximately 805 requests. Comac aims to dominate China's regional aviation market, planning to supply over 3,000 aircraft in the next 20 years. If these goals are achieved, Comac will become the world's third-largest airplane manufacturer, surpassing Embraer without even operating outside China. The Chinese government aims for Comac to account for 10% of global commercial aircraft orders by 2025. In a decade, this figure is expected to reach one-third of orders. Currently, with authorization to operate only in China, the planes delivered to China Eastern Airlines will be evaluated to be declared fully operational. Thus, Comac eyes the international market, aiming to become the first non-Western commercial aircraft manufacturer to achieve global success. The future seems to hold journeys on Chinese planes. For a Chinese aircraft to be sold, for example, to an American airline, various requirements and regulations from U.S. civil aviation and safety bodies must be met. But, considering all these safety procedures, would you feel comfortable flying on one of these planes? Drop your opinion in the comments below and see what others are saying.